All right, so check this out, guys. Before this video gets started, I do wanna mention that we just dropped a brand new T-shirt on the website. We got our brand new logo on that front pocket right there. And on the back, you got the dang sun and the glow effect. These suckers are super fire and they are pretty limited. And also on the last drop, you guys absolutely killed it. We practically sold out of everything. So these might go pretty quick as well. And on top of that, the weather is warming up. So this is our very first short sleeve t-shirt of the year. So if you wanna copy one and help support your boys, be sure to visit gunsquad.com. But as of right now, let's get to the video. What are you thinking, like a big old buckhead right there or some bullhorns right there or something? What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Goon Squad headquarters. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we finally finished up both of our upstairs showers with the grout and all, and it looks super good. And on top of that, we called in the glass guy to measure out all of our showers for our custom glass that's gonna be here in like a week or so. And we can't forget, we basically finished up our bar area with a super sick industrial faucet here. And also, the number one thing is our ice maker here, which is super cool. My favorite feature is just this scooper right here. We're gonna just scoop some ice up and we'll do it all. Dude. But anyway, Anyways, today what we're gonna be focusing on is finishing up this upstairs, the upper level, because we wanna actually get prepared for our final inspection, which means once we pass that, we can go ahead and get some awesome furniture in here and a bunch of other stuff. So we're pretty excited about that. So right now we're probably gonna run to the Home Depot, get a few supplies to patch all the holes in the walls, some silicone for the shower edges and all that good stuff. So I said we go ahead, hop in the truck, run down the mountain, get what we need and get straight to work. Alrighty guys, so we are finally back from the Home Depot with a bunch of supplies here. Some of the stuff that we're gonna use today, some of it we're gonna save for later, but more importantly, what we wanna do is repair that big old hole in the wall. So of course, we bought a bucket of that all-purpose joint compound there. We got our mixing container. We got our spatula to smooth everything out. We got our corner piece right here. This is gonna be in the bathroom. We got some corners in there, so we're ready to go. Dude, dude. we're ready to go, man. I'm actually excited to straighten some. It's gonna be almost like body work on a car right there. So we got our Bondo, and we got our spatulas to spread everything and we bought some sanding pads because we plan on actually sanding everything in here, dude. Hey, might as well. We're going to go ahead and sand everything smooth and get it ready for paint. So we got some sandpaper here. We got everything that we need. We want to get all the touch-up paint knocked out. We got a good bit of it, so we want to just get this stuff knocked out ASAP. And we got a good bit of sanding in the garage. We can't forget right. that spot that they fixed. And in this bedroom, they fixed it on the wall, which they did a good job. It looks like it don't need anything, but it does need to be smoothed out like because you can feel yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit rough in there. We'll take care of that later. And of course, we got some silicone here. We got the black stuff that this is gonna go around the exterior or outside on the windows because we never got to the upper level ones Yeah, the there. upper three windows up there, they just need the silicone because we gotta do that pressure test, we can't forget, dude. Yeah, dude, so we wanna go ahead and make sure all the gaps and all the cracks are silicone, that way we don't fail that test. Of course, we got some white silicone for the bathroom showers and all that good stuff. Got some other cool technology. Look at this little device right dude, here, dude. I think that's the biggest bottle of super glue I've ever seen in my life, man. All you gotta do is I guess shake it up and you press this button and it works. You don't have to have a cock Dude, that's just like that. awesome, man. That's something that we really didn't need, but we seen that and we're we like, we to gotta have it. have it, man. And you never know, might end up using it all the time. That's what I'm saying. You gotta test stuff out. Another thing that we decided to test out is some drywall repair clips. Usually the way we repair it is put like two by fours behind it, but somebody invented something new, so we had to just give it a try, dude. We might have to just that may even work like even better than the two by four method. We're if, definitely gonna have to put yeah, it to the test. If it works like I'm thinking it's gonna work, it should be super easy. So we're gonna put that to the test here in a little bit. Of course, we got a camera doorbell system right here. What is this for, dude? I don't even know. Dude, man, we got some tile stuff, man. We even got a chisel, so that just 
That means something crazy happened. This man. right here is popping up tile. So we did mess up something when the shower glass guy came out here. He told us that we kind of messed up big time. I think we'll talk about that a little bit later. So yeah. we even got a diamond grinder bit right there, dude. So you know things are getting real. Oh right man. <laughs> we even got a bottle of motor oil. You can't forget, man. Hey. You know things are getting real when that comes out right there. That's actually for the pressure washer there. But anyways, I say we go ahead, try to repair that hole in the wall right there, and I guess we'll just go from there. disappeared on us right there after adding a couple layers of that compound and of course some joint tape and all that good stuff it is smooth for the most part but it's definitely going to need a couple more coats probably yeah right? definitely we'll probably coat it one more time tomorrow just to get it nice and smooth and we'll probably end up doing it three times just depends on how smooth you get it because ain't that how the mud yeah, guys did it exactly how they did it we were keeping a close eye on them and they did it a couple days in a row and they got it nice and smooth like that so we are done here and in the master bathroom we got those big old gaps filled in we're just gonna have to let it dry and then we'll sand it but we're done with all that compound now it is time to either talk to talk or walk the walk which one man we gotta talk to talk because we got a serious issue on our hands i mean we did buy some tile destroying tools today hey, i man. got one on me at all times right there <laughs> but let's walk over here and actually show you guys exactly what we're talking about basically when the glass guy came out here he pointed this out right off the bat First thing he did was throw a level on this quarter right here, and he said there is not enough of a slope on there. So basically, you're supposed to have one eighth of a grade or something like that, and we just have a level surface. Yeah, right I thought I actually uh, sloped that a little bit, but I guess it's so close to being level that he did not. I mean, he could have threw the glass on here, but he don't want to because the issue with that is once he throws the glass on, water is going to be just dripping down it and just causing a waterfall, and the water could possibly just flood the bathroom floor over here, dude. Yeah, so he said he could have went ahead and done it but like say the issue occurs and we want to redo it it's going to be an absolute nightmare to take that glass out and then redo it might as well just redo this slope right here right now you yeah know because I mean? it'll be a lot more work later down the road just removing all the glass and then doing this but right now our our, our thing is just to bust the top yeah, layer open right that's now, our dude. plan right there is to try to go ahead and preserve these uh bull nosings right here and just pop out this layer just add a little bit of extra mortar and just slope it like that so it's not only in this bathroom it's also in that bathroom yes, over there dude, dude. so two bathrooms bathrooms are going to have to get redone and I mean hopefully it's easier to do I mean you almost cracked it right there hopefully it just pops right off dude hey, that's why we got this blade right here so we're going to try to do some precise cuts some precise precise breaking as well so I say we go ahead and get started with this one and hopefully we can get this thing fixed
Alrighty guys, so it is actually the next day here. Last night the whole entire tile removal process went super smooth. We were able to peel off this whole entire top layer here without damaging any other tile and even preserving this uh, bulldozing right here perfectly. So we are ready to go. We're ready to mortar this tile back into place. We're actually going to do a different route over here. We're going to do the exact same thing that we did in that bathroom. That's using a full piece instead of using like a few little pieces right here because it's going to make our job a lot easier. It's going to be a lot easier to get that perfect grade. And on top of that, it's going to go a lot faster. And when that glass is in place right here, you're not even going to be able to tell the difference, dude. No, sir. I mean, the glass does sit directly in the middle. So if we did do the split pieces, it would just sit right on the grout line. You won't even notice. So this is going to be a lot quicker and a lot easier to slant, like you just said. And once we get this thing done, as soon, the sooner we get it done, the sooner the glass guy can come out here once yeah. again. He wants to come out here once again to re-measure everything because this is going to throw the measurements off. And you got to measure this glass perfectly because it's a pretty expensive piece and he wants to make it perfect. He wants everything to just fit flawless. And it also comes down to what, what support system we're going to use, right? Yeah. Because there's like clips and then there's other ways. You there's like, like rails and stuff. Rails, there's yeah. like a, it almost looks like a little metal frame that goes all the way around, which we're going to use in the other bathroom. But it, but in here, since we're going full piece of glass here, we're going to use like just little metal clips at the glass. It's almost going to look like the glass is just, just floating. Just dude. floating, dude. It's going to look super sick. So we want to go ahead and get this knocked out. So I say we go ahead and mix up some water, try to get both of these bathrooms knocked out, and then we'll call them up again. All right, folks, so I gotta say, you can't believe everything that you see in stores or even on the label. Look at that, it says zero second instant grab. And what are we grabbing it by so right we're there? We're grabbing dude? it by some tape over here, man. We actually held it up there for a couple of seconds to see if it'll grab and it'll actually droop down. And it's been up there for a couple minutes already and it's still pretty wet. It kind of sucks because I thought that stuff was gonna be like super glue, you know what right. I mean? Yeah, that's what I thought too. But you know what? Cool mechanism. I gotta give them that right there. Oh, yeah, that's Air super charge. cool. Air charge, it'll charge you more for it. But hey, it's better than having like a caulk gun. So if they make everything like that, that'd be super sweet, you know what I mean? Super sweet right there. But you know what? Look at that nice little shelf we added right there. Instead of building one into the shower. Yeah, right? I think this looks a lot cleaner, especially for this little shower right here and how everything is white and this is why it matches perfectly. That's gonna look super good once it's nice and dry in like 24 hours or something like yeah, that. Yeah, hopefully once we place like some shampoo up there, it doesn't just don't just fall down. But anyways, <laughs> on top of that, we finished up both of our upper border parts right here, which this happened to be a lot easier than we thought. I mean, we just popped those suckers off and just mortared some new ones on there. Got a nice slope on there. And hopefully the glass guy can come out here and just remeasure everything. Yeah, dude. definitely. We'll call them up here in a little bit, but got that knocked out as well as the compound on the walls right there. So we're basically done with all that. Now we're going to focus on doing a cleanup, right? right? The main thing is to prep the second floor for the final stages, like doing our last coat on the floor and also do like some touches on the painted walls and stuff like that so what we're gonna do is probably end up like hanging the doors up taking all the tools out cleaning the floor up maybe do a little cleanup on like some of these edges and stuff like that and just get it ready for the final stages
It just looks like a brand new house in here, basically. Hey, that's what it's gonna be at the end of all this, but dude, we are almost complete with this upper level. We gave it a nice vacuum, peeled all the paper off, took all the tools, and man, dude, it feels good to have this nice and clean, dude. Hey, walking in some socks, look dude, at that. You dude. have to walk in socks now. Up to upper level, socks only from now on, dude. <laughs> dude, super clean up in here. We even wiped it down with like some sort of mop or whatever. Yeah, it was like a wood cleaner. Got all the trim as well, dude. Oh yeah, dude, just got everything as much as possible, but as you can tell, I mean, now you can see where the touch-up paint is gonna be hit at. That's what we're gonna do probably before we do like the last coat on the floor. So before we sand it, that way we can sand any paint out if we ever Yeah, so do the floor. walls before we do the floors. Yes, basically. sir. But we threw in one door handle and check out our modern door handles over here, dude. Yeah, after we threw all the rest of the doors on, then we threw in a, like a square body on there, dude. <laughs> dude like it's some new, it almost looks like super modern right here. And I'm glad they're black. This is something that was an Amazon special, of course, because a uh, Home Depot and dude, Lowe's, they don't really carry good doorknobs, dude. Dude, that's like some stuff that you could only get on Amazon if they're super happy we went with that style right there. But now, what we're going to do next is probably throw on the rest of the door handles, Yeah, throw right? on the rest of the door handles on everything, and then probably move on to our trim out on our windows. We got some black trim to throw on these handles and over here and all that good stuff. Probably even take off some of this tape that's around these edges right and, here. And even the, well, we can't take these stickers off. We can take off the rest of the big stickers. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting us to do that. That. Yeah, the big sun window stickers, they have to get removed. We already removed these, but these can stay right here. Or these have to stay, I believe so, for the inspector to look at all this stuff right yeah, here. Yeah, that's definitely going to be, he's got to check, like, I don't know what that is, condensation, Air resistance. Leakage, solar heat, coefficient, all types of inspector stuff right there. So we'll leave those for the inspector. But there is this white tape that's around these windows that the, it comes from factory. That way you don't actually, like, paint up to the window. So this is really cool feature. We'll definitely have to, like, uh, cut that off and peel it off. So yeah. we'll probably do that and even clean them that way we can see the view a little bit better. Dude, dude that view is going to be beautiful right there, dude, with them clear windows. But we did notice something quite odd. Dude, when you close another this door, tile, another tile, uh, what's issue. it called? Issue. Check this out. So when you close the door, what can you see right there? You man? can see some hexagons right there, <laughs> dude. And you typically don't want to see any type of tile, right? Yeah, typically what you do is uh, you'd actually rub this hardwood to the middle of this right here. But we ran into the middle of this one thing that the door would be on this side which is just a common uh issue sometimes when you do hardwood and stuff like that but you know what we figured out the hard way and i don't know dude but it will be kind of an easy fix right definitely a super easy fix all you'd have to do is just grind it right there cut it all the way down peel that tile up and throw like a piece of hardwood right there Dude, super easy right super there. Super easy, but I don't know if we'll be able, I don't know if we'll be doing that because, dude, it looks pretty cool, honestly, It does man. look pretty cool right there, dude. If, like, somebody's asking where the bathroom's at, you can point them to the top. Hey, just look for the black tile and right there, boom, bathroom. I mean, most of the time, this door will be open, like, most of its time, so who knows, man. <laughs> but anyways, I guess we're going to go ahead and, what, throw in the rest of the handles? Yeah, throw in the rest of the handles, throw in the trim around the windows, clean them up, and probably even hop downstairs.
All right, so check this out, guys. We finally got this first level nice and clean. I mean, it is practically spotless, ready to be moved in with a bunch of epic furniture. What are you thinking, like a big old buckhead right there, some bullhorns right there or something Dude, like that? Dude, some steer bullhorns from Texas. Dude, that would be legit on the wall. I mean, anything, man. I'd like to have like a super sick, probably natural wood table here. That would be awesome, man. Yeah, some bar stools right there, but dude, for the most part, everything is nice and minty fresh. We threw on the rest of the doors here, the rest of the door handles. Look at this, man. Modern all the way throughout. And I like how these louver doors actually look right here because we had to have one right here because this is technically going to be a living room. So let me just go ahead and close this for you right quick and show you what go it looks ahead, like. Go ahead, dude. Man, dude, this hallway is complete. Looks super clean, dude. Super sick. We ended up throwing on the last door handle onto the water heater door as well right there. So this is our last room right here that we have to work with. And we're going to do something. This is probably going to be the most epic room in the whole entire house, dude. I think, dude. I mean, it is technically going to be the most epic room because this is the biggest room. And on top of that, what we have plan for this room it is going to be just Dude. absolutely epic man it's going to be mind blowing but as for now what i think we're going to do is probably go ahead and do a little quick cleanup in here that way we can prep for what we got coming and then i guess we'll just go from there So we just gave this last room a nice quick clean and what we basically did was just take everything from inside and take it outside under this deck area where we're going to start sorting that stuff take a lot of that stuff to the container because we're probably not going to use it ever again but this room right here is definitely going to be something super special right here of course you might have noticed we changed the can lights actually to some brighter ones because this room is going to be absolutely lit but what we wanted to focus on is actually the floors here because as you can tell, this concrete is stained. It's super old right here and we're definitely gonna transform it with some special product. Should we say what it is or just save it for when we actually Dude, do it? I say we save it for the next video and reveal it because I am just super excited and it's something that we've dude. actually been thinking about because we didn't know what to do on this floor, dude. dude. I can't wait. It's definitely gonna be in the next one along with the walls. We gotta paint that and the ceiling. So that should be super easy right here. But this is basically like a living room, patio room, sunroom, game room, maybe. Mer room who knows man Dude, it's gonna be super awesome but that's gonna be all for today's video definitely make sure your guys' post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything and if you want an inside scoop before YouTube definitely give us a follow on Instagram at gun squad but with all that being said thank you guys so much for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below we'll catch you guys next time peace